Well, this past year, more corporate boards chose to make room at their directors' tables for activist investors rather than getting mixed up in a public brawl. Mary Thompson now takes a look at why some of these so-called well, some of these boards are increasingly embracing congeniality with those investors instead of engaging in combat. Protect giant Microsoft, its size offers no protection from a proxy fight. So instead of battling the activist Value Act and risk their own jobs, directors gave the hedge fund a seat at their table, ensuring public peace during proxy season. They can voice their dissatisfaction at the ballot box, and it's better to preemptively be speaking with your shareholders to understand what they have to say. Increasingly, other shareholders listen to the activist complaints. Their support helping activists to win or be given a board seat by a company in 66% of the proxy fights they waged this year, according to the proxy governance firm ISS. No longer viewed commonly as rabble rousers or corporate raiders, activist support among big institutional investors, like the California public pension fund CalPERS, is growing as they realize not all activists want a quick change and a quick gain, but many are focusing instead on long-term returns. Adding to activist power, their big war chests. They manage a hefty $89 billion in assets. Board advisor Claudia Allen says their money and increased support from other investors is helping to change board's attitudes about activists. Directors are engaging them more frequently and in a friendlier manner. I think that type of outreach is trickling down to more companies. And again, it's with a view toward proactively understanding what the shareholder concerns may be and then figuring out uh, what the board believes is an appropriate response. Still not all boards are open to the new openness to activists. PwC's annual director survey found that 30 percent did see more engagement with big stakeholders, but a third of those directors say they shouldn't be communicating with them. A strategy that could prove dangerous for those directors, given activists growing financial and reputational clout. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Mary Thompson.